Welcome to the Prayer Room's website. I'm the director, Brad Stroop, uh, of the Prayer Room in uh, Arlington, Texas. And since you're on our website, I thought it'd be good to tell you a little bit about uh, who we are as a ministry and uh, what we do, what we hold to. Um, we're a parachurch organization that uh, has been uh, doing daily prayer meetings for over seven years. And um, as a parachurch organization, our desire is to serve the local church in the city. Uh, we're connected to a lot of different uh, uh, churches here in Arlington. I'm actually a part of the uh, Pastors Network, uh, which has got you know uh, a, a bunch, dozens of pastors of local churches uh, here in Arlington, and uh, they're all my buddies and love them. And um, as a ministry, uh, what we do as a parachurch is uh, we serve with a very specific purpose to uh, provide a place. For people to pray, and uh, and then even to uh, to pray for uh, revival and other things that the Lord has that are on the Lord's heart. Um, you know, a parachurch organization is like a like a Bible school, or um, even like a missions organization that you know uh, feeds hungry kids in Africa, uh, or uh, you know uh, an organization that uh, does you know outreach uh, to the poor here locally. The concept of a parachurch organization is that they're not a local church, but that instead they serve the local churches and allow people that come uh, from all different uh, congregations in a region to be able to come and rally around a specific purpose. Ours is prayer. So what do we do? We've uh, got our doors open a lot of hours every day, and uh, we do prayer meetings. So it's a great place for people to be able to come and pray, read their Bible, uh, seek the Lord. And one of the great pieces of the environment is because there's people coming from all these different congregations, there's normally always people in the room for you to be praying with. And so we pray for uh, you know things like revival to hit the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, you know, we ask for God to move in the church and and uh, put uh, His power and His Spirit uh, on the on the pastors, so that when they preach, that the word might impact people's hearts. And uh, uh, so that's um, you know what we do as a ministry, as well as provide uh, really kind of a sanctuary for people to be able to come at all different hours and read the Bible. Just be in a place uh, of uh, of commitment to the Lord. Um, you know, I've I've got a, a pastor buddy. And uh, he came in the other day, and uh, his son was about to go through brain surgery, and, and he just really needed, uh, you know, a place of prayer. And he came in and spent, you know, a good portion of the day with us and, and uh, just, you know, prayed. And, you know, uh, the testimony afterwards was that that was a really meaningful time for him to be able to just connect, you know, with the Lord and uh, really kind of prepare himself and, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, get ready for that very difficult moment in his life. And we've got other pastors that come, and maybe they'll prepare their sermons, uh, you know, in uh, the prayer room during, you know, Times of prayer. We've always got worship going on. So uh, there's uh, always Jesus is being exalted uh, all the days or all the hours that we're open and we're open seven days a week. And, um, you know, we're connected with a number of local churches. Uh, we've got uh, uh, a number of staff that all raise their own support and they're being supported by people in the community. Um, you know, the, the uh, actual prayer room budget is supported by a number of uh, local congregations as well as uh, the people that come around the prayer room. And so uh, very well connected uh, in the area with the local church. And um, our desire is to support the local church and the work that the Lord is doing uh, in the church as a whole around us. And our hope is to just be able to be able to give a little bit of an injection of a lifestyle of prayer uh, for all those uh, that, that are doing it, uh, that are a part of the local church in the area. Kind of like a Bible school would really focus in on uh, training and equipping people in the Bible. It's not that the local church isn't able to train people in the Bible. It's just that a Bible school, that that's all they do. They're probably going to have a little bit more resource, a little bit more time, a little bit more um, you know, focus on that particular point. And so that's what we do uh, with prayer, is that our desire is to be a center uh, that people can come to and pray and uh, contend for revival and ask God to move and a place for people to come and, and uh, work through their own you know, prayer lists and, and, uh, and read through the word themselves and just a, an atmosphere where the worship's going all the time. And uh, so that's what the prayer room is. That's really our, our desire. And we'd like to be able to do it literally uh, 24 seven. If we, uh, you know, could get to that point, it just takes manpower. So maybe you come and uh, help us out and get, uh, help us get to, uh, to that point. Wanted to just spend this uh, couple of minutes and uh, talk about what we are, who we are, what we're doing uh, as uh, hopefully a little bit of a help to anybody who's, you know, trying to figure out what the prayer room is, or if you've uh, ever had any questions, uh, we'd love for you to come and check us out. So um, thank you very much for your time today.